What is going on beautiful people? I am Lee Hammock, the diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as mental illness and welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about how going no contact and blocking a narcissist is the best way to get over and get past a narcissistic relationship, but it might not, you know, people are going to find ways around it. Stay tuned, like, and subscribe. Okay, so here's the thing with this. While I do agree that blocking is a useful strategy, it does not always work. For example, I blocked the narcissist in January of this year, blocked him on all social media platforms, all of his accounts that I knew of. Four months later, he created a fake account to start harassing me. I blocked that account. In response to that, he made three new accounts to stalk me with. I blocked those three accounts. And you want to know what he did next? If you answered that he went and created another account, you would be correct. In my case, and a lot of people's cases, blocking is not the end-all be-all. It is not the almighty solution. So while I do agree with blocking and it is a useful strategy, it is not going to save you from them reaching out. If they want to reach out to you, they will do so by whatever means necessary. What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So, goodness gracious. Blocking, 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 blocking a narcissistic person, going no contact, cutting off the access to that narcissistic person is probably the most effective way to help you heal and get past and get over a relationship with a narcissist or a toxic person. But under uh, like like the person said in the video, I was duetting. Her name is uh, Allie. Like, like I said, like she said in her video, um, it's not the end all be all. Because in today's society, people can work, they, they, people can circumvent blocks on social media. People can circumvent being uh, blocked on emails. People can circumvent being blocked on your phone and things like that. I know I, I heard if you block somebody on, on your phone, like uh, if you block somebody's phone number, they can just dial star six, seven and call you and blow you up still because it's, it's masking the number. Technically, it's not from their number. You see what I'm saying? So blocking is, is blocking going no contact the best way? Yeah, absolutely. But everybody, we all know, we all know that that's not possible for everybody. It's just not, y'all. It, it really isn't possible for every single person. Y'all see my background? I'm at home today. My office got rained out. It's a, uh, I think Hurricane Ian is hovering over us, of, ho hovering over us right now in North Carolina. So we're de de dealing with that right now. So that's why I'm at home and not in my normal spot. But yeah, block. Every, we all know that blocking isn't the end all be all because everybody can't block everybody can't go I mean, you it's possible but most people in these situations especially if you have kids it's hard to cut that person off it's hard to go no contact because they can take it to court and say hey look the other parent isn't contacting with me at all they're they're being combative they're being aggressive parental alienation rabble 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 you get it you understand that right there the dynamic you get it and understand you you get it so blocking, yeah, is that number one? But going going low contact, as low contact as possible, helps as well. If you if you can't block, you if you feel like you can't block, you can't go no contact with your narcissistic person for because of the law, because of court or whatever, court because of family court or whatever. What you can do is look into, like I said, going low contact, yellow rock, just responding to things about the kid. Don't get Hoover back in on holidays, birthdays, and stuff like that. Oh, it's the birthday. Oh, it's our kid's birthday today. Just so you know, I love you. I remember the first birthday we celebrated together. It'd be crazy if we got back together. No, don't fall, no, don't fall for the Hoover. If you can't block them, you have to get to the point where you understand it. It's, it's all manipulation. It's all manipulation. After they lose you, they're trying to get you back. It's all manipulation, especially if you're giving them two, three, four, ten chances. It's all manipulation. It just absolutely is. After they've hurt you, after they've hurt you repeatedly, it's all manipulation. It, it, it just it just is. So I tell people in these situations that like, yeah, going low contact, yellow rock, you know, gray rocking, as low contact as possible. You just yeah, y'all. There's other ways. Yeah, blocking is number one. Yeah. Blocking and going no contact, that's the best way, but you, you might have to keep blocking them. Keep blocking them. It's like, it's like hacking your way. Let's just say, y'all know I love coming up, coming up with analogies. Let's just say you're in a, a, a rainforest, right? And it's thick shrubs. Guess what you have? You have a, a, a machete, right? And to get through these shrubs, to get through the rainforest, to get to the other side, you have to hack 
through the shrubbery. You have to hack through the overgrown brush, the overgrown bushes and things like that, the brush. You have, to, uh, you have to hack through all that stuff. You might have to wade through swamps and stuff. So you got to keep hacking. In this, in this scenario, the narcissistic person making contact with you or trying to go around the block is, is, the, is the rainforest woods, is the shrubbery, is the stuff that's in the way. Hack it. Oh, new number? Block it. Hack. Oh, new email? Hack. Oh, new phone number? Hack. Oh, star six seven? Hack. Keep it blocking. You got to keep hacking away, y'all. Keep hacking away. Believe it. Did they ever give up? So I'm, I'm going to be realistic with, realistic with y'all. Some of y'all. Some of, I'm going to be realistic with y'all. Some of them don't give up, y'all. Some of them keep going and going and going and going because they want to exhaust you into talking to them. They have their goals set. They have their goals. They're super ambitious of getting you back into their life some way, shape, or form. So keep hacking. Keep hacking. Keep hacking. Yes. Yeah, so, so, so blocking, you might have to keep blocking. You might have to keep ignoring them because, it, like I say, going no contact is going no contact. It's a commitment. It's just not two words. It's a commitment. You see me, if you follow me on TikTok, you see me sharing videos of people, you know, doing the get you with me. It's time to boss up. I say in that video, Vito, uh, you got it song. I'm celebrating people because I know no, no contact is hard. Is, is y'all. No contact is a very, very difficult thing to do. And I understand the dynamic. I get it. Trust me. I, I truly do get it. I understand that going no contact is one of the hardest things to do, especially when you're dealing with narcissistic and toxic people. I understand that completely. So you keep doing it. You got to keep doing it. It's like working out, y'all. It's working out. You lift the weights. You're getting stronger. You're getting, you're getting more fit. You're working on you. It's how it goes, y'all. They're not going to give up. You're not going to give up. No contact is a battle. It's a war sometimes because they're going to try to break no contact. You're fighting to keep it. You're fighting to keep it. And guess what? Sometimes if you do break no contact, go, look, don't beat yourself up. Don't, do not give yourself an emotional black eye. Go back to it. Pick up your machete. Keep hacking through the woods. You have to keep hacking through the woods. Hack. Oh, I thought, I thought you loved me. Whack. I thought you, oh, so you never cared about me. Whack. You never, you never, whack. What about the kids? And keep the family together. Whack. What about this? Whack. Keep hacking way through it, y'all. And another method, like I said, if you're trying to co-parent or trying to parallel parent, what are you doing with narcissistic people? You have kids involved. Another method that uh, Ben Taylor introduced me to, Ben Taylor, Raw Motivations, he introduced me to, is the BIF method. B-I-F-F. The BIF method uh, is, stands for Brief, Informative, Firm, and Friendly. You know what I mean? Brief, brief, keep the contact as brief as possible. Only necessary things. It's all, just only the necessities. You know what I mean? Informative. Ball it up. Brief and, and and tight. Keep it concise. It all goes together and things like that. I'm gonna do a longer video on Biff, y'all. But like, keep it together. Informative. Understand. Like, straight to the point. No no pleasantries. Hey, how you doing? I miss you. No, none of that. None of that. Informative. Friendly. Or is it firm? Firm and friendly. The F. The two Fs. Firm. Straight to the point, y'all. No, don't look. Make sure you you respecting your own boundaries and if they have any boundaries set respect those just keep it short firm and friendly and friendly is like you're not going into you're not going to it the last f is friendly you're not going into it being antagonistic there's no pettiness there's no bitterness in these messages just sit, look straight to the point about the kid brief informative friendly and firm or firm and friendly i gotta look it up y'all i'm gonna do a longer video i'm gonna do a longer video on the biff method but you have to y'all there's ways to help you heal and get past these relationship dynamics there is and as a narcissist, I know that I, I'm, I'm going to wrap this video up with this last right here. As a narcissist, how do you feel doing no contact, Lee? It hurts. It sucks. I obsess. I do. I obsess. Everybody thinks, uh, you know, a lot of people just, you see my videos, you want your narcissistic person to be like me. I'm just aware of it, y'all. It's a constant battle trying not to, you know, trying not to self-implode and sabotage my life. It just absolutely is. I know a lot of people just see my stuff and you, you want that person to be aware in your life. No, you don't. You don't. You want them to be aware, you know. <sighs> Let me, let me take that back. You want them to be aware. No, you don't. Yeah, you might actually want them to be aware, y'all. I had to rewind. The robot had to rewind, y'all. You might actually want them to be aware, but sometimes awareness awareness brings pain, y'all. Awareness sucks sometimes because now you're aware of everything that you're doing, and then you have to combat it. You have to combat your natural impulses and things like that. So going no contact on a narcissistic person could, you know, Make them become obsessive. That's why you keep having to block them over and over and over again. It gets, it gets tedious. It gets trying. It gets you get tired. Like how many times time I got to block you? How many times we, we Lee, would, they, would they ever get the point? No, they probably would never get the point, y'all, because they they get the point, but they understand that they, you know narcissistic people come from a place of selfish you know selfish intent. We want to make ourselves happy first. So I hope that helps y'all. I hope that brings you some clarity. I hope it brings you some peace. 
Um, I truly appreciate every single one of y'all because you know, as much as y'all learn from me, I learn even more from y'all. As y'all can see, the merchandise is here, the brand is here, the I, the self love, I love me brand. I am, you know, what I am, I'm, I'm, I'm worthy. I love me. I'm worthy. You're worthy of love. The link is going to be in the description of every single video, y'all. Uh, there's some other ones on there, too. Thank y'all so much for the support. Austin, Texas, October 15th. Uh, Toronto, Canada, November the 19th. We're keeping it moving, y'all. Stay tuned for more. Like and subscribe for more. And as always, mental illness is out. Peace.